Hello, learning birds, and welcome to our fourth, I think, lesson on PowerPoints. In this lesson, I have taken our PowerPoint about our pet named Fluffy, and I created the slides with words and pictures just so that we could kind of have an idea of what we can do with those words and pictures, and that's what we're going to be doing in this slide, in this um, lesson. So again, it doesn't really matter what's in the presentation um, as much as what we're going to do with it. So we're going to learn about two different things. We're going to look at transitions and animations. Transitions is what happens between the slides when you go from one slide to another. So you could have the slides fade. They can kind of shift up and down. They can split, reveal. They can do all sorts of things. Here's a list of all sorts of different things that they can do and this is when it's transitioning from one slide to the next slide. So I'll show you some of the more dramatic ones just so that you can see. Here's one that um, zooms. So we'll make that animation. So when we start the presentation that's how it's going to zoom in. When it goes from the second slide to the third slide we'll do something totally different. We'll have it split so it'll look like that. You want to see that again? When I click the button to go from slide one to slide two, it's going to look like that. And then let's do a new one, slide three, um, cover. There we go. It'll do that. So it'll be like you're, you're taking one, backing it up, and, and putting the next one over top of it. And um, from the third one to the fourth one, we'll do that switch. There we go. All right, so now when I start the presentation by clicking down here, starts out like that and then it slides does that page switch out and then that switch out so transitions in between the slides can be fun they can also be a little bit distracting if you're so concerned about the cool nif different um, transitions that you're gonna have then it sometimes takes away from the actual content that you're trying to teach I was actually at a um, a school meeting at some point and our principal had this this PowerPoint that had so many different animations and stuff that every time he was about to switch the slides he was like oh you'll really like this this animation and it kind of was a little distracting to what he was trying to teach so be careful when you're putting together a a presentation especially if it's a more formal presentation for a class or teacher or whatever that you may want to consider using um, some of the more subtle transitions like cutting, fading, pushing, wiping, those ones. And you may want to choose one type of transition like fade, for example, and apply it to all. So it would have the, a consistent look from slide to slide. This one here is just going to fade. Every slide is just going to fade back into the next one. So that's just one thing. Um, again, if you're making a fun presentation, you can have a different type of crazy animation, or not animation, I'm sorry. You can have a different crazy type of um, transition for everyone, and that's perfectly fine. All right. So again, lots of fun different animations that you can have in there, and they can do some really neat things. It can be really fun. Now the next thing that we're going to talk about in this lesson is animations. I keep saying animations when I'm talking about transitions. I apologize for that. But a transition is from a slide, one slide to the next. Animation is things inside of the slide. So if you've ever seen a PowerPoint presentation, maybe you see when they click the button, some things happen. And that's what animation is. And again, I'm going to show you all, all sorts of different types of animation you can have. You can have things exiting, things emphasizing, or things entering. So I'm going to show you a little bit, hopefully I'll be able to show you some of those. This one here, I'm going to make this an entrance. So I'll make it just, um, why not, I'll make it zoom in like that. It'll bounce in like that. Notice when I click on an animation, it actually gives me a number. Let me close that out and make an animation pane. That shows me the first thing that's going to happen. This one here, I'm going to give it an animation of, I like fly-in. Fly-in kind of makes it go one in at a time. And you'll notice that now, whoops, fly-in, there we go, that when I click a second time, 
and then a third time, and then a fourth time, those are going to come in, and I'm going to have this lettuce do um, a bounce in. All right, now let's look at the slides here real quick just to see what we've done. So in this slide, it starts off with nothing. Then I click, and the bunny appears. I click, and then these things slide in one at a time, and the lettuce bounces in at the end. So animations are a way to emphasize things that are happening inside your PowerPoint. You can make them all come in at the same time. You can make them come in at different times or bounce like that. And the animation that you pick can vary and it'll show you all sorts of different ways that it can happen. So what I want you to do is just make your first PowerPoint, um, pick the design and do all the words and the text and the pictures and stuff like we talked about in the previous lessons and then play around with some animations and see what these different animations do. Emphasizing animations, um, making them transparent, um, having things fly out of the screen when you click on them. All of those things can really make a PowerPoint presentation pop and be a lot of fun. So I hope that lesson on transitions and animations was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.